All right, you guys, let's take a look how to make perfect halftone here in Illustrator. So last time when I did this tutorial, I missed a couple of steps, so not everybody could understand it. So in this video, we're hopefully going to check out all the steps necessary to achieve the best result. So first, we're going to start in Photoshop and prepare the image. By the way, this is a 1080p image. And from here, we're going to go to the adjustments and we're going to need to turn it first into black and white. So let's select it and we're going to go back to the adjustments again and select the curves. Now here we're going to need to transform the black areas into some lighter gray. So I'm going to pull this a little bit more up. So it's going to open up the darker areas. Now right now I'm going to go something like this and save it as a JPEG. And now we can go to Illustrator, drag and drop the image into Illustrator. Let's go and click on the embed and then let's go to the effect, pixelate and select color half tone. Now in my situation, I'm going to go with these values, max radius 45, channel 1, 2, 3, and 4, 45. Click OK. From here, let's go to Object, select Rasterize, and I'm going to go with the default settings. Click OK. And then let's go to Image Trace, select the default. So check this out. If I zoom in, you can see these dots are connected. So when you go back in Photoshop, the more you make it more lighter, these dark areas, and then when you trace it, these circles are going to separate them more and more. But in this video, I'm going to try to make it differently. I wanted to make it more darker, so these circles are going to be more bigger. So if you want to separate these, another thing you can do here is go to the settings. And you can go to the threshold and just decrease the threshold. So these are going to start separating the circles. But I'm going to bring them back to default so this is going to be bigger. And about least we're going to go and select ignore color, white, and click on expand. So right now what I need to do is separate these circles. So first I'm going to rotate it, press and hold shift to rotate 45 degree angles and scale it. And what I'm going to do is select the erase tool right here. You also can double click on it and decrease the size. I'm going to go with 0 0.5, click OK. And here I just going to cut them like this. So this is a tedious job, but so far this is the only way you can make these kind of perfect half tones here in Illustrator. So I'm going to speed this process up and separate every each dot. And it looks something like this. Everything is cut in pieces. So now I can go and select a shape. You can go with a circle. In my situation, I'm going to go with a star. And I'm going to create a star right here. I'm also going to modify it a little bit. And from here, you're going to need to go and click on expand shape. Very important step. And also another very important step is right click on the shape. And let's go to arrange and select a bring to front. And now I'm going to press control C to copy it and then select everything. So I'm going to select the star and the half tone pattern composition. And from here, I'm going to go to the file script and we're going to need to work with the replace items. Now this is a script you're going to need to install first and I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download it and I'm also going to leave a link in the description with the video how you can install this. So install it and restart Illustrator and select the replace items, click on it and I'm going to go with the default settings, click OK and there you go. And pretty much that's how you make it. Thanks for watching.